to Shelly Talk, where we talk about what's on the Shelly, and by that I mean we talk about what's on our mind, because we're Shelly, and this week we are talking- You're talking really fast right now, my name's Tyler. <laughs> I'm Sol, and we are film watchers, enjoyers, and filmmakers. My mic is going to fall off this stand. You know it's true, because we have 20 other episodes mostly talking about movies that you could go check out if you like movies, because oh, we yeah. like movies, and you probably like movies if you're here. Anyway, like today, movies. what are we doing, Sol? We are ranking the top 10 movies- to of exist, all time. like objectively, not subjectively, Objective, personally, what we think. We just not our personal that- favorite movies. Here are the rules for this list that we're gonna make together. We're going to decide collectively what the top ten movies are. They have to. It has to be an objective opinion, like for anyone to think these are the best movies, not yes. just us. It has to be a movie at least one of us has seen. Yes. It has to what? be the best movie, like well-roundedly like it has to be enjoyable like and well written and well shot like that type of thing yes what, what's the movie you think deserves to be in the top 10 oh uh, i don't know actually i feel like also even if it's not a like the best movie ever you can make a case for any movies that were influential as in they like changed the genre by oh okay i have one I feel like that could be an argumentative case. Okay, I have two. Okay. So it's called uh, Do the Right Thing. It came out in 1989. It's from the perspective of this, like, black kid. I think he's, like, early 20s, maybe? Late teens, early 20s. And it's set in a black neighborhood. And I think New York. And it's kind of centered around this pizzeria owned by this white Italian family. And it's it the entire Five Nights at Freddy's? No, fuck you. The entire movie is in one day. So the entire plot of the movie happens in one day. And it's so cool and I love it so much. And you've never seen it, but you should definitely watch it. There's like this conflict with this pizza owner and this one guy. He like holds this giant you know the a beatbox? Is that what it's called? Like one of those like <laughs> huge Boom box. Boom, boom box. box. Boom box. It's, he holds like one of those giant boom boxes and like blast music uh walking up and down the street and he walks into the pizza shop and the cranky white dad italian man is like you need to shut that off and he's like well i think you should put a black person on your famous person wall because there's this huge per- wall of famous people that have visited his pizzeria and there's they're all white they're all white people and he's like you should Okay. Put a black person on your wall. And he's like, I'm not putting a black person on my wall, blah, 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 blah. And there's, like, this huge fight that ends up, like, destroying the pizzeria. Like, literally destroying the pizzeria. But it just shows, like, the community of a black neighborhood in New York. I think it's in Brooklyn. Let me see. Yeah, in Brooklyn. It's just such a good movie. It, oh, it's such a good movie. I watched it in my film history class. So it shot well. The script is oh, good. Oh, it's fucking the fantastic. The plot is good. It's enjoyable. It's beautiful. It's directed by Spike Lee, so of course it's fucking good. He also plays the main character. Okay. I have something to contribute, and I don't want you to think I'm crazy. Wait, I didn't say what I would rank this as. So out of ten... Oh, what would you I rank this? I would put this at maybe number six. Six is cool. I'm okay with that. I've never seen this movie, but I'm totally down to watch it. I wanted to know if you would put Whiplash on the list. I would. I know that's, like, a personal favorite, but I didn't know if you think it's objectively good enough. I... I would. I worry the plot could be a little boring for a general audience if you're not as invested in that type of thing. I feel like if you haven't experienced this type of abusive relationship in any way, it doesn't have to be with music, but with, like, really in any creative field... Really, I guess in any field, you can have this type of abusive relationship with, like, boss, student, teacher, student type thing. If you haven't experienced that, I don't think you would truly feel for the movie. But for anyone who has, I'm guessing, like, the vast majority of people these days, especially with older Mm -hmm. Gen X being people's, young people's bosses... Because yeah. they're just so fucking angry all the time and just yelling. Okay, at how about for now we keep Whiplash at like nine or ten, and we'll see if yeah, we need to I kick it off the list. Yeah, I would put it at like nine. But Whiplash is like a personal favorite for you, and I know 
it is a good it's also movie. shot well the music is amazing the color grading the is color amazing grading. the acting's amazing oh, yeah. i just worry the plot's a little boring for a general audience that would be my only critique about the objectivity i get of that it. But the way it shows an abusive relationship is so is really good. well done. It's very good. I have a proposition. Okay. Don't think I'm crazy for this. I don't know how you feel about this movie, but I would like to offer up Megamind. <laughs> Did you say Megamind? I said Megamind. Megamind. Like the animated DreamWorks film Megamind? The animated movie about a guy with a blue head, yes. <laughs> the Megamind. Okay, so I, was, I, th- I, was, I think the I was thinking of a different Megamind. Because Megamind. not even, like, personally, <laughs> I think, objectively, the movie is incredible. The plot is great with, like, a little, like, ant- anti-hero trope. The it's a f- it's funny as shit. The love story is well done. The entire movie's like ACDC music. It's so I, good, in my I opinion. I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from. Villain main character movie that raised a generation. I get it. I I I I see where you're coming from. I and I totally understand. I feel like I would definitely put it in the top twenty five, but in the top ten. <laughs> Top 10's pushing it, but you'd put I it in the, put top it in the top 25. 25. Like, maybe at 15? Okay. 15, maybe. Okay. 15 is, like, the highest I Okay, would go. so if we were ranking the top 15 movies ever made, it would Megamind be 15. could be there. Yes. Like, I I, okay. I, I... I get it. You understand yes. the vision. Like, the humor is our yes. generation's type like, of humor. Like, I, I... Yeah. And just, like, the vil- like the villain being the main character If we were ranking and strictly... Then it, the, the whole incel plot line, like oh, the yeah. one guy, the, the like the actual villain being an incel, and then the the like the Superman type of character just like leaving to go oh, be yeah. a musician, and like faking his death. If we were ranking strictly two thousands, like strictly the Millennium two thousand movies, yeah, I would definitely put it in like the top okay. twelve. I can accept that. Listen, all I'm saying is DreamWorks makes the best movies of all time. I put it out of 10. So, at the moment, Whiplash 9, How to Train yeah. Your Dragon 10. Okay, I, I really do have a thing for DreamWorks because I also considered saying Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda, I will put at Because seven. Kung, Kung Fu, Fu Panda, Panda yes. is such a good movie that China was upset that America made it because they made... They made it so good that China was like, why didn't we make this movie? China was pissed that Americans made Kung Fu Panda because it was so well Kung done. Kung Fu Panda, the original, amazing. The best movie. I will Soundtrack, totally amazing. Movie. They Did you know that they had to invent a totally new style of animation to get the ropes, right, on the bridge yes. scene? That movie is Amazing fantastic. animation, fantastic plot in characters, and flashback scenes, and art style. Oh my god. Seven. Okay. I would even, like... It depends what's in the top five. The top five is going to be very hard, but I would, if we oh, yeah. can't figure it out a good top five, I would even raise Kung Fu Panda up to, like, three. Like, I'm not even kidding. Three. <laughs> I'm so glad you're on board with this. I, like, I was like, okay, I have three DreamWorks movies that I think are incredible, and I'm not sure how you're going to take me saying three DreamWorks movies in a row. Megan Mind, I <laughs> but- saw as a joke, and then I realized, oh, maybe you're a little bit more serious, and so I, I really I, thought no, about it. I was it. so serious about Mega Mind. Like, really think about Mega Mind. Yeah, like, I know, saw I, t- where I, I totally was coming get it. From. Even though it sounded funny and at first. And I would first. put it at, like, 16 and then or 18. I can accept that. Then, I think How to Train Your Dragon is just a beautiful movie. It, like, oh my god. How to Train Your Dragon is everything to me. And then, Kung Fu Panda reinvented cinema. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. I have a, a cinematic masterpiece that I love, and that we're gonna actually do for Film History Month next May. Okay. It's called, oh no, my pencil ran out of lead. That's too bad. It's called, oh no, my pencil <laughs> no. ran out of lead. That's too bad. <laughs> no. Well, I've never heard of this movie. <laughs> the movie's called Citizen Kane. And it was made, I think, in... I've heard of that. The 30s or 40s or 50s. I think the 40s. 
and it's basically about this guy, Citizen Kane, who becomes a huge news paper company owner. Like, he starts off, like, as a small reporter and then makes his own newspaper and then becomes, like, the best-selling one in, like, New York or wherever he was stationed at. And the story itself is actually based off a real guy who did this thing. And he became, like, super, super rich and super famous. And he was so... Newspaper movie. He was such an interesting person. And I just... I loved watching it. And the, the, the guy who plays Citizen Kane is Orson Welles, who was a, f- like, a huge fan. He was, like, the Marilyn... Ma- male... Male... Marilyn Monroe. That's such a tongue twister. Oh, like, shit. Okay. Not for the looks, but just how famous he was. Fame, um, yeah. Orson Welles. And he was... He actually... Oh, my God. I fucking love Orson Welles. I watched, like, a 10-minute doc in film history about him and he essentially had this actual radio show i think for nbc probably not for he had this radio show and it was like this sci-fi type thing but it was in like first person so when people tuned in it sounded like they it was like a news report and this stuff was actually happening in real life wait that's cool and he i know what you're talking about call in to this because people thought there were, like, yeah, aliens people happening. Is this the same called thing? called into yeah. the, the company and was like, what is happening? Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. And they would call the police and be like, oh, my God, you have to get to this place. And this thing is happening. And the police had to go to the building and be like, you have to shut this down. And Orson Welles was like, uh, no, I'm finishing this. No, I do not. And they're I like, no, not. you have to shut this down. And he's like, no, I'm, I'm completing this. And so they, like barricaded themselves in the room and they finished the fucking um uh new uh radio show and it was just so funny and then he had to go on the radio like the next day or like later that night and be like everything that happened was fake it was off a script it was fake like it wasn't real and everyone's like oh my god it sounded so real and i uh, he's such a cool he's such an interesting dude because he started out in like community theater and directing community plays and then he became like a huge acting star and it uh, he's such an interesting person and he also in the movie he plays every single iteration of citizen kane so he plays like the teenage version the adult and then the elderly and then like the dying wait really of him. and that's insane they, like, added a bunch of prosthetics to him to make him look older and bigger but, oh my god, the movie's so, so good. It's so fucking good. I'm gonna sound like I watch animated movies more than I do, because I really don't- It's not like I prefer animated movies. I watch a very even split of animated movies and live-action movies. However, I really liked Across the Spider-Verse. <laughs> okay, I would put that at ten. And move okay. How to Train Your Dragon, like, down. Sorry, How to Train Your Dragon. Because the animation in Across the Spider-Verse, and then the the storyline of, like, what it means to be Spider-Man, even though Spider-Man has been made over and over and over again in media, they still hit, like, the heart of Spider-Man in this movie. I like it. I agree Number with 10. You. Okay. Goodbye, How to Train Your Dragon. I will miss you. I love you. I was thinking of this, but I wasn't sure if you'd go for it, but another movie on here is Back to the Future. I have And I seen wasn't it. sure how you'd feel about that. Because I'm a big fan of Back to the Future, but I didn't want it to be like I'm just listing my favorite movies. Like, I'm really trying to not put too much of my personal opinion in this. Like, Kung Fu Panda isn't one of my favorite movies, but it's a good movie. Um, but... Can we, can we set Back to the Future aside and see what else we come up with, too? Yes. Okay. Now, the Titanic is the Titanic movie's on here, and I've never seen Titanic. However, if you don't hate Leonardo DiCaprio too much... I don't... <laughs> I know he, like, dates 25-year-old women, <laughs> but if you don't hate him too much, his movie, Catch Me If You Can, uh, I really like. <laughs> I wouldn't put that in the top ten. 
a top 10 ever. It's not a top 10 ever movie, but it's it's a long movie, yet it's somehow, like, interesting the entire time, and most movies of that length don't hold my attention the entire time. Like, I would put it's that It's really at, like, fun, and it's well acted and well shot and shit like I that. I would put it at, like, 30. <laughs> Okay, Psycho's on this list, and I've never seen Psycho, but I know it's I've good. I've seen <laughs> three quarters. I haven't seen the ending of Psycho, but I've seen most of it. The Dark Knight is on the yeah, list. Yeah, I've been looking at The Dark Knight. I honestly would agree that The Dark Knight is up there. Is it better than the Batman 100%. movie that came out, like, last year? Because that, that was a good movie, the Batman movie. Like, I'm not super into Batman. Like, I am Spider-Man person through and through. I like Batman's cool. I like Robin a lot, actually. I'm I, I do like Robin, but I've never been crazy in the Batman and I liked the Batman movie. The Dark Knight I like better. And I think that's because Christopher Nolan made it and it's like you kinda see the whole story of Batman. Whereas in the Batman movie okay. that came out, he's more of like a kid. Like, he's, like, he's like 20, whereas in the movies, he's, like, 35, and I kind of like that. I don't know. That's in, cool. in The Dark Knight, he's, like, the entrepreneur playboy guy who's, like, oh, Oh, I'm yeah, everything. I like that. I'm everything, and you're just Ken. Yeah. The Barbie movie. <laughs> also, the Joker. Honestly, just the Joker himself would be it's top ten for me. I've heard a lot of people like the Joker movie. Not the no. I've never not the Joker it. movie. Oh, not the, the Joker, Joker movie. In the Dark not Knight. the Joker movie. The Joker in the Dark Knight makes the Dark Knight a top ten. Joker movie, movie can fuck okay, off. Okay, so what do we have right okay, now? Okay, I wrote them down. You're... Okay, so at okay, I have not been keeping at number track. ten. We have Across the Spider Verse. Number nine, Whiplash. Okay. Seven, Kung Fu Panda. Six, Do the Right Thing. Four, Citizen Kane. Okay. So. Considering when it came out, how would you feel about the original Star Wars movie? Because considering when it was made, it's incredibly made. And it does a very good job of being the first episode of a sequel and following, like, the hero story. Like, I feel like it's a very, like, defining storytelling movie that a lot of people copy. I think copy. it's pretty good. I would put it at five, honestly. We can put Star Wars A New Hope at five. I'm good with that. I have our number one movie. Okay, what is it? save it for the end, though. But I have it. And I think you okay. might agree with me. Have I seen it? I don't know. But I'm going to agree You're with it anyway. It's that good. It. I'm going but to see it. Okay. I've seen it before. Okay. It, this better be a good fucking movie. <laughs> have you ever seen Dead Poet Society? Yes. Are you opposed to that? Because I think it's a beautiful fucking movie, and a a lot of the shots are incredible. I I, I feel the same about Jojo Rabbit. Do you, like, not, like, it's funny, and yeah, but, like, some of the shots in Jojo Rabbit, like, with, like, the feet and stuff like that, so well done. And Dead Poet Society has so many good shots and good writing, both of those movies. Do you like either of those movies enough? I wouldn't put them in the top ten. I can understand that. Maybe in, like, the top twenty. Do you remember that movie where all the people are in the circle and they have to, like, kill each other off one by one? Yeah. What do you think? That is not in the top ten. That is such a not good movie. It's such a good movie. <laughs> it's I wouldn't, it's I such wouldn't a good put that movie. in the top hundred. I would put that in the top twenty, but not the top Top twenty? Oh my god, Top that's twenty. <laughs> it's such a good movie. It's so simple, no. but it does so much. No. The, we're really stuck at the top three. Like, I have our number one movie, but the two and three is really, really hard. Yeah, like, what's the second and third best movie ever like, made that we've seen? Like, I feel like... Did I really go through all 100? That's crazy. Like, I, I feel like when making a list, when you're ranking something, one is so easy but two three and four and could are like the hardest ever this also isn't top 10 material but i think the truman show is a very good movie Truman Show, i would definitely put in the top 20 
for sure. I can write that down. Write that down. Write that down. I will down. put it in the top twenty. It it does a very interesting concept in a very good way. Like it's done so well in, like it has a lot of layers to it that are all convincing, and it's a very impressive movie. For sure. Okay, everything, everywhere, all at once. What do you think? That you know what I would put that at number three. I would. Number three, we got it. We got it. Maybe I saw it two. and I was like, yes, that's gonna be it. We could put that number two. I would not be opposed to that. Okay. Number two it is. I don't it's not like my favorite movie or anything. Like it's not like in my personal list it wouldn't be that high, but I know objectively phenomenal film. Oh yeah. That's I'm aware it's objectively fantastic, even though it's not like a personal favorite. Yes. Can you read me the order again? Yeah. So we have secret number one. Number two, everything, everywhere, all at once. Three, blank. Four, Citizen Kane. Five, Star Wars: New Hope. Six, Do the Right Thing. Seven, Kung Fu Pandas. Eight, The Dark Knight. Nine, Whiplash. Ten, Across the Spider Verse. I like our list. Which one do you think fits better in the top ten movies of all time? Jurassic Park. Not Jurassic Park. Why did I say that? I just read it. I read it. That's why. <laughs> Back to the Future or The Matrix. I would put the Matrix. I haven't okay, seen. Okay, would you Back put it number future, three? So I don't know. I think you might like it. I I can't say for sure if you'd like Back to the Future, but I feel like you could like Back to the Future. I would put the the Matrix because trans woman made it. Oh, so transgender. Okay, I'm on board with this. I put the I would put the Matrix because trans woman directed it and. It it's a classic. It. It's it's a classic. It's, it's also very. The one of the first like, defining of the time period it's also one of the first like computer sci-fi it's, it's also you can't go wrong with making something based off of plato's allegory of the cave yes like that's a classic plot point um it people reference it all the time like red pill blue pill people reference like um the matrix it's it, as a concept a new concept it, of living it made its own concept yeah honestly it's very like defining as an idea okay we're gonna put the matrix at number three all right i'm very on board with that so let's go over the list and then i'll reveal the number one and then you'll reveal <laughs> the mysterious secret number one and i'm really I curious feel like what you, you might agree on. with me on this one the top 10 movies as objectively as telly could do of all time number, number 10. 10 across the spider-verse number nine whiplash number eight the dark knight Number seven, Kung Fu Panda. Number six, Do the Right Thing. Are you clapping? Yeah, golf club. <laughs> Number five, <laughs> Star Wars A New Hope. Number four, Citizen Kane. Number three, The Matrix. Number two, Everything Everywhere All at Once. And finally, the number one top film of existence, objectively, is... The Cat in the Hat, the live-action movie. Oh my god, you did not. <laughs> okay. It's not... Okay, I'm gonna be serious about this. That a fu- was a funny thing to put number one. I'm gonna be serious about this. Like you were when I said Megamind. Yes. It's not a bad movie for the concept it took on, but I would not say it's the best movie of all time. I... But it's... I haven't seen it in a long it's time. I didn't like it when I was younger because it scared me. <laughs> it was like so creepy. <laughs> it's it's definitely a subjective pick because it's our type of comedy. And if we were to make a movie, I think that would love be it. the movie we would make. Cat in the Hat is number one movie. That's my only subjective pick in this entire ranking. You've seen more movies than me from different time periods, so I feel like it was easier for you to be more objective about this when I haven't seen as many old movies especially old movies that aren't like specific like I've seen old like very niche comedy history movies and I've seen old musicals but you've just seen old like cinema yeah and I have not so you I feel like you had more objective options and that's why we're having film history month and that's why this is a podcast and not like an editorial in a paper. Exactly. <laughs> because I can have a little subjectivity here when I've only ever seen Kung Fu Panda. My my limits are like dream words. <laughs> so would you 
want to move everything up and add something to the bottom as the new number 10. Oh. Everything Everywhere All at Once is the best movie of all time. Um, Objectively. Okay. If Your Cat in the Hat thing is not number one and we moved everything else up, then I would present How to Train Your Dragon or Back to the Future. I would also nominate Scream, but that's a little subjective. Scream, I would I would put as number 10, actually. I, I, I would agree with I'm you. Okay. okay, you know how I explained to you how it was the first time that they did, like, two killers on screen before, and that was really confusing for the audience? Yeah. Like, that was pretty... Like, that was new for the horror genre, and that was pretty defining. Yeah. And also, they, like, and, like, the whole thing with how they killed Drew Barrymore off right away. Yeah. And they just did a lot of things that were never done before. It's pretty funny. And they do a good mystery. Okay, scream number 10. Scream Yay. number 10. <laughs> I didn't want to say it because it's like, oh no, Tyler's saying his current hyperfixation but while saying he's being objective, <laughs> but scream number ten. I mean, I put whiplash in there at number nine, so like <laughs> you're right. You can have your and I brought 10. it up for you because I didn't want you to have to bring up whiplash. But I'm like, I know you like whiplash. Do you think it's good? Okay, no, nine and ten. Scream. Scream is number eleven. If Cat in the Hat live action is the best movie of all time, if not, it's number ten. <laughs> Everything else moves up a space. I hope you like our top ten. Do you disagree with our top ten? Because People you probably do, do. because, cause, you know, we said Kung Fu Panda was, like, the fifth best movie ever made. <laughs> Number seven. And it's right. We're right about it. Yeah. We're, if you actually go watch Kung Fu Panda right now, you'll agree with us. They would. So if you disagree with us, Especially you're just if wrong. you're, like, near our age, you would definitely agree. You're just wrong if you don't if think it's a top movie If for some reason you're, like, so a Gen X disagree, person, why, first off, why are you watching this? Why? Go away. We're not for if you. If you disagree, don't comment. Just go watch the movie. No, if you, you disagree, disagree with and come do back comment. To us. I I wanna, I wanna hear your list. Your objectively top list 10. your alternatives. But if you're just mad, don't comment. Just go watch the yeah. movie, and then you, you'll see that we're right. Yeah. But list your own top ten. Thank you for watching our watching, listening to whatever you're doing right now. Maybe you're taking a shower. Who knows? Maybe you're watching Five Nights at Freddy's. You if, you're if you're f- watching Five Nights at Freddy's. If you're watching Five Nights at Freddy's, go check out our last week podcast. If you're watching Five Nights at Freddy's, what? (laughs) I I was saying, like, thank you for listening or watching. I don't know whatever you're doing. Maybe you're taking a shower. Maybe you're watching Five Nights at Freddy's. If you're you're naked right now, go watch Five Nights at Freddy's. (laughs) If you are naked, someone's gotta be. Go watch Five Nights at Freddy's. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) Bye, guys.